Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Yes! Welcome! Welcome to another episode of Cut Your Face. I am your host, the amazing Rick Alvarez, and uh, I found if you take these little like uh, applesauce caps and you you glue them together and then you spray paint them white, they make awesome little like um, propane tanks for your uh, one eighteenth inch scale dioramas. Speaking of dioramas, I'm here on my USS flag. I'm getting close to almost sort of being halfway done. So, I'm still in the painting process. I'm still working on my tower. But uh, most of the painting on the carrier itself is done. I've been going through my garage and pulling all of the uh, G.I. Joe and Defender and Hero Forces vehicles that I'm going to open. That's going to be a big cut to tape. That's going to be huge. I've got like eight or nine sealed sky strikers i'm gonna open them all <laughs> and people are gonna love it or not all right i got a couple of brown boxes of love i want to open today but first i got this at gamestop now i really don't go into gamestop i'm not really a gamer video games give me headaches unless it's on my phone but they had this this is the blind pack collector's edition lunchbox part gi joe part Transformers. I forgot what comes in. I think there's a pop in here, but I think there's four different pops, and it's, like, random which one you get, so I can get, like, a G.I. Joe, or I can get a Transformer. So, these things were 30 bucks, uh, and I'm hoping I don't have to go back and buy the other ones. I'm hoping it's a one and done. So, before we get to some generation selections... Let's pop this open. We don't even need our knife to cut this tape because we can just rip it. So this is a metal lunchbox. And I just realized that I'm opening it and I don't have a sealed one, but that's okay, you know? Let's, um, let's just go ahead and cut it open. All right, so on the side, it's got very generic G1 uh, promotional art. On the other side, it's got a combination of authentic Real American Hero art, and I think that's some style guide art from, like, later in the day or from the reissues. Or, um, 20th. I don't How long has it been now? 30th? I don't even know. So this is made by Funko. I believe it's Funko. So uh, let's open it up. Oh! So we have a G.I. Joe sticker. We have an Autobot keychain. We've got some buttons. We've got Optimus Megatron Cobra Commander Duke. And I'm betting the other Funko Pop is Megatron. Now I'm really hoping that this is not, uh, it is an exclusive. Man, the variations on these pops is gonna drive me crazy. And I'm not a pops collector. This is the Megatron with the Electro Axe or Mace. Optimus is the Optimus with the Electro Mace Axe. Jesus, can't even talk. And this is Duke. And I don't know what's different about Duke because I don't collect Pops. Maybe he doesn't have a helmet. Maybe he does. I don't care. I'm not getting the Joe Pops. I like that they're not sealed so I can just open them. But there it is. 
So I guess now I do have to go back. Because I'm betting there's a Decepticon sticker. Or a uh, Transformer sticker. And a Decepticon keychain. I'm betting those exist. So Mr. Rick's going to have to go back. And spend another 30 bucks. It is what it is. All right. Boxes of Love. We've got some brown boxes of love. This is the Micron MicroMasters Galaxy Odyssey Collection from Generation Select. Amazon exclusive. Technically, it's not tape. I guess it's more of a sticker. And here we have... Here we have our MicroMasters. I am waiting for the day when we can complete all the MicroMasters. I don't think it's gonna happen. Gosh, I hope it does. Maybe we can get some of the MicroMasters that were just concepted. Here we go. Not bad. Effective use of repaints. You know, I'll take one out. I'll take one out. It's funny, all the MicroMasters I had as a, as a kid were all Autobots except for the uh, Sky Patrol or the Jet Patrol. Those were the only Decepticon MicroMasters I had. MicroMasters, they've got the power to surprise. Actually, I think that was... Uh, I think those were pretenders, but who cares? All right, I'll give a quick. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, a uh, brief description of what Micron is. Micron must be the planet they are from. That would make sense. It's a water resource world. Where are all the aquatic MicroMasters? We've got Roadburner, Fire Guard, Decepticon Runner, Sting Racer, Autobot Windstorm, Decepticon Motorhead. Not bad. Happy with this set. Ooh. Is this great? Yes. I, I really do want to open this one up. Grease Pit. There he is. Isn't he beautiful? All right, so here's something very interesting. At this point in my collecting life, I'm done reading reviews. Because I know, A, I'm going to get the figure, regardless of the review. And that's pretty much it. There's no B. So even though I'm getting a little fatigued with these molds, one thing I like, Super Gasoline Z1. And what does that Z look like? That's right, you got it. Looks like Transformer Zone. Go Transformer Zone. Ooh, you know what I don't like about this guy? Right out of the box. He's loosey goosey. Loosey goosey. But I like this, you know, it's a little gas state pump. And it makes an effective uh, hand weapon. But I like that. So I've been keeping all these MicroMaster bases in base mode since they never really technically had a robot mode. But something about the way this guy looks, his color scheme just really speaks to me. I like it. I like the face on this guy too. I think, I think we might keep him in robot mode. All 
All right, this is my first time actually holding this mold. Black Rorichi. So I do have the regular retail version uh, of Fast Track, but I haven't opened it yet, and I only have one. So I'm gonna have to hit up probably Big Bad Toy Store in the next couple of days and get a second one. Don't like the way this guy's packed in here. I definitely should have been a little more careful with that. But this is not a show about being careful. This is just a show about me opening stuff. And the only reason this show exists is because I was letting stuff pile up. And now I have a reason not to let stuff pile up. I still have a pile of stuff. I gotta start a Lego show because I've got hundreds of Lego sets just piling up. And then what's even worse is I build all the Lego sets and I don't have a place to put them. And then I recycle the boxes, but now I have this big Lego set built, which is even harder to store. All right, again, right out of the box, it's a little loosey-goosey. Uh, I don't think the, so he's supposed to be turned into a spear and a vehicle. I don't think he's a, he's not a weaponizer, right? Oh, he is, to a degree. He is a weaponizer. But I gotta say, I like the size of this. I really like the size of this. It's just giving me, it's not quite gold plastic, so it's not gonna break like my original one, which came with Black Sarek. But it's just loosey goosey. All right, last but not least, our Galaxy Odyssey collection, Botropolis Rescue Mission. That is a terrible name, Metropolis. It's so bad, it's guaranteed to show up in a movie. <sighs> Metropolis. Gosh. All right, this was another Amazon exclusive set. This one, very themed, full of repaints. Here's the thing. We just opened one of these, right? Now, there's a few parts that are remolded, but, I mean, we just opened it, right? This is from Double Dealer. We get these guys again. There is a benefit and a detriment to this show. So the benefit is I finally get off my butt and I open stuff. Great. The detriment to me is that I just open two figures that are the same for all intents and purposes. And it's, it's a little different if it's a troop builder because I know going into it, I'm basically opening them to put them on a shelf. Now here's something interesting. This one was, I am assuming because of the release date, made after this one. Yet this one is significantly tighter than this one. Yeah, this, I mean, it's like night and day. I can't even move the arms on this guy, they're so tight. This one, all the joints feel like they've just been like, like the mold just disintegrated. This one, it's still really tight. Uh, you know, the waist is a little loose. It's not as loose as this one. 
So at least we got to compare and contrast a little bit. And because we have so many of these guys, and we have so many of these guys, that's the reason I like to keep them in vehicle mode. And I think this set in particular will be really nice in vehicle mode, even though I don't keep anything in vehicle mode at all on any of my shelves. Everything's in robot mode. But because originally in G1, these were not so much characters, but equipment to characters, that these, for nostalgia's sake, will stay in base mode. And now I realize, I think I've been saying vehicle mode, but it's actually base mode. I gotta say, that is still pretty cool. I've seen a couple people transform this uh, along with the Skylinks and set up like a super command base. I think that's pretty cool. You know what this has a vibe of? This reminds me of Spacey from GoBots. I know it's not the same colors, but it's something about this and the shape with this being in black. It just reminds me of Spacey. Now this is a cool piece. Originally it came with Double Dealer. But it must have been gated so that, or retooled. It looks like maybe this is the new part and this is original to make a new rocket ship or a missile. I'm not sure if this is a missile or a rocket ship. I don't know. Maybe it's a drone, but it's cool. I like this. You can put it on his shoulder if he likes. Or not. He doesn't have he doesn't have to put it on his shoulders. Maybe this guy wants to use it. Mm -hmm. He seems to to take to it pretty easily. So on my display shelf, I'm gonna set up my die atlas, my road fire. my Sonic Bomber. I'm gonna set up all my MicroMasters in front of them. I'm gonna have a good time. It's a short episode, but we got to the point. We got to the point. So, thank you so much for joining me again on Cut the Tape. Check out the whole TFYLP network. We've got our main show, Monday nights. We've got MicroCasters Tuesday. I'm hoping Oof My Wallet comes back. And on Fridays or Saturdays, it's cut the tape. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, email me at cuttape at tftalk.net. Please wash your hands, wear a mask, and be kind to each other. Zoink!